The average human lifespan is 72 years. For some, that's a lot, but for most, including myself, it's not nearly enough time. And that's one of the biggest reasons I love to travel. You get to live as a version of yourself that you'll probably never get to truly experience given our short time here on Earth. You know, the alternate timeline where you move to Paris and spend sunny afternoons on the sidewalk of Le Marais drinking aperitifs, or the one where you quit your job to write mediocre novels in a quiet cabin off the coast of Maine. Through a perfect storm of remote work, open borders, and increasingly affordable rental market, I found myself booking a flight to the Netherlands and spending one month experiencing the very version of myself who had lived and worked in the beautiful city of Amsterdam. Albie and I just finished our first full week in Amsterdam and we are going to go celebrate by going to see Thor in what is supposed to be the most beautiful theater in the world according to an article I found on Google. I never got to travel much as a kid. As a child of a single mother and an immigrant, it just wasn't in our DNA to take vacations. When all you can Hi. think about is surviving, there isn't much room yep. left for luxuries okay, like yeah. travel. The first time I went to Europe was the summer before my junior year of college, just shy of my 21st birthday. I landed in Paris completely alone and tried in my best attempt at French to explain to the cab driver where my new apartment was. That day I learned three very important lessons. Number one, my French was much worse than I thought it was. Number two, Parisians, despite the reputation, are actually quite nice and will help carry your luggage half a mile to your new home if you happen to get dropped off at the wrong intersection. And three, even when things go wrong, you'll survive. Just take a seat. Mm. So we're deciding between these, which are the little baby pancakes, and then these, which are the bigger flop ones. What do you want, baby? My camera back. <laughs> Little baby pancake and a Belgian waffle. Looks like a giant pizza. That week was the first of many spent in France that semester. I remember stopping into my favorite pastry shop every day, spending sunny afternoons in the Jardin du Luxembourg, and sipping espresso in cafes while I watched people rush by on their way to work. This was the trip where I learned that although I can appreciate a good historical site or museum, my favorite part of being abroad was living in someone else's shoes. Out, and we got some food from Albert, which is a local grocery store. This is the local herring that's salted. It's, I think, semi-raw or preserved, but I really like this. And they sell it pretty inexpensively at the store. Also got this salad and some raspberries. Groceries are pretty cheap here compared to New York, so it's a good lunch option. Over the next five years, I raced through nearly 30 countries trying to catch up for all I felt like I had missed out on. But with each new place, a small part of me always longed for something deeper, to linger a little longer, to spend another week in the neighborhood I had grown fond of. Parts of me were eager to live another life again. Amsterdam was one of many cities I visited that first semester abroad. And although I only spent a few days there, I knew immediately it was a place I wanted to return to. It took nearly 10 years, but I like to think that the 20-year-old version of myself would be proud. Good morning. We are about to head back to Majiro Gym to have our first private with Andre. Hopefully he remembers this time. And as long as that goes well, we're going to come back and shower, change, and probably hit up the park because it's supposed to be really nice out. It's kind of a little bit of a heat wave right now in Amsterdam. So I'm gonna go enjoy that for the afternoon and maybe have a picnic lunch. Should be a nice day. When you carry in my tears, make sure you feel welcome inside. Because I had only known her for about a week. That's when she said, Abby and I are trying to draw each other. I didn't do a very good job. And now we're gonna see what he did. Let's see it. Not done. Big reveal. Ready? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, it looks just like me. I 
I'm taking Alvi on a surprise date today. It's not really a surprise anymore because I told him what we're doing. But we're gonna go to the zoo and then check out a vintage game shop. I think after we might get an early dinner at this ramen place and then we're gonna end the day at Puck, which is supposed to be like a gaming bar type thing, which is very much this one's speed. I so. planned it out. It does sound like a day you would plan out. I did plan it out. Why are you taking all the credit? <laughs> right now we're gonna go pick up a snack and then head on over for our last weekend in Amsterdam. We made it inside. I already want to go home because I did like day earlier. Can you carry me one of these strollers? Oh, the Japanese one. Monkey butt. I think we might be the only people without children here. Oh my god, they're together! Stop! Oh, they're cuddling! Flamingo! Hello there! Oh, oh, what's gonna happen? There's tension in the air. Made it into the jungles of Amsterdam. Got a waterfall over here to my right. Bats? Oh, I was not expecting that. Oh, whoa! Speeding time. I kind of want a Tamagotchi. Chipley! Alvin and I just took our first Amsterdam ferry and we're on our way to the flea market. I'm not going to try and pronounce the name because I know I'm going to say it wrong. We'll do some treasure hunting today. What do you want to find? Treasure. Tickets, please. Stop running, never will. I'll take some melatonin pills this time. Cause I just wanna sleep tonight. Yeah, I just wanna sleep. But lately I've been sleeping way too much. Cause baby, I've been. Snack break. Everything over there, all fresh, super nice, just eat like your thing. From Loire, France, very sharp, very dry, uh, refreshing. <laughs> It is our last day in Amsterdam. It's been a month. It is pretty wild. Went by very quickly. We're gonna go get some souvenirs today. I think we're gonna go by the Toilet Museum and Tony's Chocolate Store. And I also wanna get one more apple pie from Winkle 43 because it was really good and I've been thinking about it ever since I got it the first time. All right, let's get going.
Thank you Amsterdam for a beautiful summer and I hope we'll meet again someday.